Looking to rebuild credit? Dwayne here with How to Build Credit TV, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about one of the main things that you should know in regards to rebuilding your credit. But before we get started, I have a quick Once again, my name is Dwayne with How to Build Credit TV. This channel offers 100% free information about how to build credit, how to get cash back, actual cash money from using credit cards, as well as credit card reviews. So if this sounds like something in which you're interested, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, in my other video, I talked about three tips, the actual three tips that I used to rebuild my credit score. The first thing was, number one, get a copy of your credit report. Number two, know your credit score. In other words, find out your credit score. And number three, get a secured credit card. In this video, I'm gonna talk more specifically about our credit score and how it is comprised. There are actually five categories that make up our credit score. The first one, which is worth 35% of our credit score, is payment history. Payment history just simply refers to paying your bill on time, not having late payments. This is very important. This is actually very easy to accomplish if you're starting from scratch in, regarding, in regards to building credit. If you are brand new and you just have one credit card and you always pay your bill on time for like, let's say a year, you're gonna have 100% of that uh, category, which is 35% of your score comes from payment history. So it'll be easy if you're starting off brand new, but if you've had a couple of mishaps just like myself in the past, this category is hard to maximize because um, you won't be able to get 100%. Um, and 100% 100 just simply refers to the fact that you've paid all your bills on time, right? So when you miss a payment or you miss several payments, it's gonna lower the overall uh, percentage or grade in that category. So uh, for me, for example, mine was at 89% for the longest time because I had a couple of things on my credit report. Um, I still do that I'm waiting to fall off of my credit report because they normally fall off after seven years. So um, just recently, mine went up to 91%. And I'm gonna actually get in my phone and show you guys exactly how, um, how the credit score is rated um, and that's the good news about when you use apps like uh, the CreditWise app with Capital One or Credit Karma or Nerd Wallet. So I'll show you guys that in just a second. But the first category, like I said, is payment history, and that makes up 35% of our credit score. The second category that makes up 30% of our credit score is credit utilization. There is a lot of wrong information out there about this category. A lot of people seem to think that as long as you're around 30%, that that's good. In actuality, that is not. And I'll log into the app and show you guys that as well. You need to be between zero and 10%. So if I have a credit line of $10,000, 10% of that would be $1,000. I do not need to be any higher than $1,000. If I am above $1,000, then I'm gonna be moving out of the excellent category for that particular um, for that particular part of my credit score. So you want to be between zero and 10%. And I'll log into the app and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. The third category that makes up our credit score is credit history, or another, in other words, time that we've had credit. Okay. So like if this refers to how long we've had credit or have had credit established, for example, the longer you've had credit, let's say I opened a credit card back when I was in college and um, I've kept that card open for the last 20 years, then my credit history will be um, very good. It will actually be in the excellent category versus if I open a credit card and I've only had it for three years and I've only had uh, credit established for three years. So this category, credit history, is talking about that and that makes up 15% of our credit score. The fourth category is new credit. And new credit kind of refers to um, when you apply for a car or a loan or a house loan, um, they pull your credit report, okay? So it really kind of has to do with getting uh, credit inquiries. So that's what new credit has to do with. Um, and so the more you pull your credit report, the more you kind of ding your credit score overall. Um, you should not have more than two um, pulls on your credit report uh, for a year. And I'll show you once again, I'll log into the app and show you exactly what I'm talking about. New credit makes up 10% of our credit score. The fifth and last category that makes up our credit score is types of credit. That is 10% as well. Types of credit refers to what kind of credit you have, like 
A car loan would be one type of credit. A credit card would be one type of credit. A store credit card would be another type of credit. A house loan would be another type of credit. So this refers to the mix of credit that you have. And this is only 10% of your score, but this is a part that makes up the entire credit score. So there are five categories. The first one being payment history. Number two, credit utilization. Number three, credit history or credit history referring to the length of how long you've had credit. Number four is new credit, like new accounts. And number five is types of credit, which is the mix of accounts. All right, so for this part of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Credit Karma app and show you guys more specifically how these categories are made up. So I have my phone here. I'm gonna go ahead and touch the Credit Karma app and I will put my fingerprint there to log me in. Okay, and you guys will see this on the screen. So once this pulls up, all right, so I have two different credit scores. You have TransUnion and you have Equifax. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Equifax uh, just to use this one as an example. All right, so um, the first thing, which is 35% of our credit score is payment history. So as you can see, I'm at 89%. The reason why I'm at 89% is because I've had some um, past bills that I wasn't able to pay. And so what happened was it clearly affected me. And so those things actually will fall off of your credit report after seven years. So what will happen is I think I'm, I think the last one's supposed to fall off this October. So automatically I should be, um, at least 95 to hundred percent in that category, which will bump my credit score because right now I'm at 89%. And 89% is actually not good. Let me see. 89% is probably below average, to be honest with you. Okay. So when I get that off, my credit score will uh, go up because I'll be, let's say I'm getting 25% out of the 35% in that category. And let's say I get to 100% uh, as far as my payment history is concerned, then I will get the full 35% out of that portion of my credit score. Okay. The next category is credit utilization, which is 30%. And as you can see, it's on the screen here. So I'm, I'm at 1% currently. Um, this app is really good because it, it shows you your total limit. You see mine there is 18,000. And then it shows you how much uh, I actually have on all my cards. And so currently at the moment when this report came out, I had $147, which is clearly less than 1%. So that's really good. As you can see on the phone screen here, it shows you a lot of people think around 30% is good for credit utilization. And as you can see, that's absolutely uh, kind of wrong or not really wrong, but you're just not getting the max amount. Um, you see 30% on the screen here and 30% is kind of in the caution, right? It's not in the green, it's kind of in the caution category. So my advice is to be between zero and 10% to max out and to actually get 30% of this particular category, which is credit utilization. All right, so let me go ahead and go back. All right, the next one here is length of credit, okay, or like credit history, like how long have I had credit? Like what's the average age of my credit? And as you can see here, it's three years and nine months. That's not very good. I'll tap on that so you guys can see. Um, if you have credit established for nine plus years, then you would be in uh, you would be getting 100% of this category, right? This category is 15% of our credit score. So as you can see, my credit, my, uh, my, I, I'm between two and four years, which is like a, a little above average, I guess, but that's not really good. In order for me to maximize this category, I need to have had credit for a long time. Like if I had a credit card from college and I still had it open now, I would totally be maxing out and getting the max 15% out of this category. All right, let's go on back. All right, the next one is going to be total accounts. And total accounts is kinda, it has to do with like mix of credit, and that's 10% of your score. Um, so the total accounts, it, it's showing how much accounts I have. Um, and this part's interesting, of course, I'm gonna have some of this blocked out, there's some personal information here. But this part is interesting because, um, let's say I had a student loan, which I did and I do, um, I, that student loan, it, it works to my benefit in that like it's considered to be uh, established credit, which is kind of weird. Or let's say I bought a car 10 years ago, um, even though that account is closed, it still, it still serves under here as an account that I've had and uh, it serves towards total accounts. So as you can see on the screen here, it says 21 plus accounts 
would be the very top end of this, right? So that you would be maxing out um, the percentage that you could get towards your credit score. A lot of people believe that, you know, you need two or three cards. The more credit cards you have, the better. You're looking right at the screen here and it's showing you between zero and five is the lower end, okay? And between 11 to 20 would be closer to where you would need to be. So you don't necessarily need that many credit cards. You just need credit types or, you know, types of account like a loan, a car loan. Those are different things that goes towards this category. All right, let me go on back and show you guys. Um, okay, so we have derogatory marks, of course. That affects your credit score. Uh, this is a very high impact on your credit score. So make sure if you have derogatory marks here uh, that, you know, after a while, if you can pay for it, pay for it. But if you can't, you know, after seven to 10 years, it'll be gone. So the reason, another reason why my score is higher with Equifax is the one derogatory mark that I thought I still have, and I do, uh, TransUnion shows it, it's still on my credit report. So that's why the TransUnion score is lower. And I think it falls off in October, okay? so. That's pretty straightforward. The last one here is hard inquiries. This one is very important, okay? So every time you apply for a loan, uh, you, you, a credit card, maybe cell phone, maybe uh, electricity, you're pulling your credit. And so in this category, what you wanna do is you, you don't wanna have any inquiries within the past two years. So as you can see, zero would be considered to be excellent. Uh, one to two is okay, three to four is caution or average. So the closer you are to the green, the closer you are to maximize every single percent that you can out of that specific category. Now, I know that was a lot of information, but if you're very diligent about rebuilding your credit and you actually wanna do it, you definitely gotta get in there, find out this information, come back and watch more videos from me uh, because like I said, this is something that I've experienced myself and I just kinda learned it along the way. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I can't spoke, right? Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace.